Greetings and welcome to Weaving Tides. I'm Catherine of Sky, and this game is so cool. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to show it to you because it has one of my favorite kinds of things incorporated into it. I used to be a fiber artist and this game actually incorporates weaving. It's very cool. But first of all, what is this game exactly? It is a game on Kickstarter. And uh, as you can see, there are just a few hours left to go. The game has already uh, almost, well, more than doubled, double and a half of its original goal of $19,000. It's already at 49,000. Lots of backers because this game looks really great. If you're interested, check out my link below. Uh, it does give me credit with the developers and they lets you know who invited them to this wild, magical carpet ride. Uh, we're not gonna talk about this uh, page. You can check it out. You can also get the demo on this Kickstarter page. Um, but what we're going to do right now is we're gonna actually play this game. Um, so first of all, the game, the soundtrack is really relaxed. It's very nice. We're going to start off in an adventure mode and hopefully we can squeeze the entire demo into this playthrough uh, of one episode. Um, if not, then just uh, we'll do our best to make a compact video here. But uh, there's also the playgrounds. I want to show you those as well. So let's get started in adventure mode. We'll do a new game and uh, get to the get to the meat of this. So first of all, thank you so much to Critivo who um, uh, showed me their game and it's uh, looking absolutely fabulous so far. Um, if you do not want to see the end of the demo, I highly advise that uh, you just stop the video after you've seen as much as you want to see and just go play it for yourself. Everyone can try the demo and it's really a lot of fun as you'll see. So this is Kilim, our friend here. There you are. Do you have everything? I do, I do. I got the crafting kit, my flute, the bag. Look at his outfit. Isn't it awesome? It's got this kind of like rough woven collar and the braid on his, uh, you know, holding his cloak together and tassel on the bag and the sides there. Obviously, his name is Tass and we have Akilim of the rug person. Hello. And the socks. No socks, dad. Mm. Fine. Hop on. Not pleased that he didn't bring the socks. Neri and her husband need us to patch up some of their farming plots. They are already waiting for us at the village. Set folded and off we go. All right. So we are going to spend most of our time flying on our dad. So we're going to press and hold R2 to do something very cool, which is go underneath the surface of the thing. As you can see, we are trailing a beautiful blue ribbon behind us. Um, so we're going to be using that quite a bit in this playthrough here. So, hello. This is Bathra. Task, my boy! Come over later so we can continue working on those flutes we drilled yesterday. Alright. And hello. This is Neri. Look, our little bean is already trying to flap her wings. There's no doubt she will become a marvelous young woman. Oh, hello, Kilim. Thanks for dropping by so fast. No problem. And you brought my buddy Tass. Hey, Komarov. Wow, you're getting taller by the day. You'll need to grow some wings of your own soon. Your old dad won't be able to carry you much longer. Well, since I'm such an old geezer, I won't be able to help you with your farm expansion after all. Ha, <laughs> touche. Don't mind him, Kilim. As you know, we're expecting another child and our family will soon grow out of our cozy little home sooner rather than later. We need to expand it to the fields. However, they are weathered and ripped in many places. I know this is your specialty, so will you please patch them up for us? You can keep any thread essence you find in the process. We'll get right to it. All right, so we need to go and um, deal with this stuff here. So to stitch a rip, we need to descend on one side of the rip and ascend on the opposite side. But remember that bigger rips might need more stitchers to be fully closed. So we're gonna just go ahead and literally, we're gonna weave these together. And we're going to collect thread essences as we can. Here we go. Grab all this fun stuff. And you can see it collecting in our little sort of spool in the upper right there. So special ability is L2. Let's go ahead and try that. That's a, This is a great space for this. Try L2 and we are magically putting it all into a bow. All right, done and done. Neri and Komarov will be very pleased. Now they've got space for roughly another 20 children. Aren't they wonderful together? They do look like a perfect little family. Do you think my parents would recognize me if they saw me? 
Well, you were a master brawler when I found you. Nobody could forget that. But I'm sure they would have loved you just as much as I do. I want to know who they are. Maybe they're searching for me and I just don't know where to look. That's it. If they can just find if they can't just find me, I'll have to go out and look for them myself. But well, wait, why did this conversation take a sudden turn? There must be a way. Let's just go look for them. No. Did you just hear that voice? What was that? No idea. There seems to be quite a ruckus back in the village. We should go and have a look. Alright, we should go and check this out. Wait, what is going on here? Flee! They're attacking the village! Oh, sure! To ho hop on my back and I can lift one or two more folks. They're not interested in us. They're heading towards your dwelling. Seek out the seer of Lorea. If there's anybody who gets the gist of all this, it's her. Now go! We can handle this. Alright, we gotta get out of here real quick. They are damaging us. We're gonna try to dash here through this. And, alright, let's get out of here. Dash, yep, we got out of there. And, um, yes, I know. No dash. We're, we're, we're dashing. Okay, we're gonna go through here. We can pick up hearts uh, in these bushes and stuff over here. And then we'll just escape with our lives here. Okay, there we go. But it looks like we made it to the town. So we're safe and sound now. Are you alright? Yeah, I think I'm fine. But what was that dark storm back there? Why did it attack us? No idea. I've never seen anything like it. I just hope the villagers are safe. What should we do now? For now, we have to do as the elders said and visit the seer. Lorea should be close by. We just have to follow the path ahead of us. All right. So we're going toward the, the village. We're not there quite yet. I kind of forgot a tiny bit. All right, there we go. I'm just going to stitch all this up. Weave it. There we go. All right, we need to go down underneath here and grab some of this nice and tasty essence there. Whoa, this little beast looks fierce. You think we can stitch them down with your ribbon? We sure can. If we stun them with a dash, it's even easier to tie them up. So I'm not really sure if the, the dash is, is that easy. <laughs> sometimes it is, sometimes not. Um, but you just basically need to pin them down with one side of all this. So let's just grab them. Oopsies. There we go. Okay, stitch, stitch. There we go. There we are. There we go. No! Yeah, it has to do with how the ribbon kind of interacts with them a bit. So there we go. There we go. Nice. And we found a treasure over here. That's nice. Woohoo! What did we get? Hello. A shattered heart. Collect four fragments to gain an additional cart heart container. Nice. So as you see, we have three heart containers up in the upper left there. And here we come to our first educational opportunity here with the puzzles. So as you can see, there are stars floating around these things. And we need to connect these various uh, eyelets so that we can open uh Unknown lands. So here we are in this area. So we're just going to keep on progressing here. There we go. No. There we go. Just we'll weave these guys together. Down. Nice. I'm not going to kill all the enemies because they're not strictly necessary. And they don't actually, um, uh, what do you call it? They don't, they don't give you that much essence. They give you like one... Uh, one thing of us. Yeah, I know. Special ability. Thank you very much. I don't know why it told me that again. That was very strange. Okay, let's go underneath here. To the next area. Ooh, wow. Here's a big area. Wow, I don't remember this area at all. How interesting. But it's a nice big area that we can stitch together. Get a lot of essence for um, putting this here together. Hooray. And we get a treasure box. Nice. Okay, what did we get? Another shattered heart fragment. Very nice. Okay. I might not have come down here in uh, my initial playthrough, so let's just go up this way. I really love the scenery. It's very cool. Okay, and here we have cacti. Now, cacti hurt us, obviously. I just wanted to do that for demonstration purposes. Let's 
go under here. Is there anything this way? There is! Aha! Hey, someone already tried to connect this fever pattern. Man, and they did a really bad job. It's no big deal. We can destroy stitches by dashing through them. We only have to connect the dots of the fever pattern correctly to move forward. So we can see that the correct pattern is a cross rather than a diamond. So let's just destroy the bad stitching and then come back up with the correct stitching. So we can also detach with the right hand side button. It is circle on the PS4 controller and just come up through here. And it doesn't matter if you connect underneath or over. Um, yeah, we just can do it either way. So what's up here? Do we have, um, this was the way that we didn't go. I think it connects to that other area. I just wanna connect or, or grab these thread essences because they are kinda needed as we'll see later. Or if not needed, then highly desired. We'll just grab that tiny little bit and move forward. So this is our unlocked gate. This is where we're gonna go for the story. Um, to kind of get that going. I'm kind of rushing a tiny bit because the demo is quite long, actually. All right, now here, we need to... Oh, no. Help, help. Oh, no. We need to kill them, but we are not... Um... It's really, it's a bit difficult because they... Okay, hello. Okay, there we go. It doesn't quite go over the whole diamond, so go. We have to kind of kill them on the outskirts here. There we go. Wrapped them all up there. Okay. And these we can just get over this way, which is nice. No. There we go. It's kind of easiest to get them on a, on a straight here. No, 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 don't do that. Oh. No, not quite. There we go, nice. All right, and we got another treasure box, hooray. Also keep in mind that this is a, a, a demo, so there may be some uh, frame losses, that kind of thing. All right, dash focus reduces the cooldown time of the weaver's dash ability, allowing the bearer to dash more often. Okay, so we're going to open our inventory and we need to equip this thing. So we're going to um, get into this area and add this to our nice little embroideries braid. Uh, so that way it looks like we can have maybe four things equipped at the same time. And obviously there's quite a few in the collection here. So we're just going to get out of this. And uh, yeah, now we have the ability to dash more often. I'll take it. Sounds good. All right, let's go and go down here. Is there anything good? No? Yes? Let's see if we can get through here. Nope. Alas, no. But we can't go this way. There might be a way to get through there, but I haven't, uh, I don't want to explore it. I want to, we need to move forward. There we are. So this is Larea. It looks lively. Indeed, and I can smell a faint spicy fragrance. They're preparing something good again. Now you go ahead and look for the seer. I'll wait for you. You won't come with me? No, but I'll stay close by. All right, so we need to kind of look around and talk to people. So we have a village here. If you if you didn't notice, these people seem to have like different wings. This person has like butterfly or moth wings and there's some that are kind of different. It's kind of cool. So Miley, I heard that down at the Empire, they have a giant bathhouse. At least two dozen people are tasked to keep the pools filled with water at all times. I hope I will get to see it with my own eyes someday. Okay, who are you? Hello. Patchy, there was an attack on Viteri? What should we do if they come for us as well? Ugh, okay, who are you? Hi, you. I'm looking for the seer. That isn't me. This is Salas. Look at these people. They have wonderful eyebrows. Uh, I'm thinking that's probably part of the whole moss uh, thing, but I, I like that they're, they're quite extensive in their eyebrows. But look at their clothing. It's so beautifully drawn. Loving the braids there. Do you know where I could find her? Perhaps, but I'm selling goods, not intel. So you're a merchant. For a shop, this looks pretty empty to me. You don't say. Since the tidal vortex is closed, I haven't been able to restock. There are only some shelf warmers left. Take a look around. Don't expect a discount for them, though. All right, we get to shop now. Um, let's see what we got here. We got a large thread spindle. 
a large thread spindle which will hold a greater amount of thread essence. Now I don't know if we actually need it, but it's only 30, so that's pretty cheap. We could get attracts, okay, essence pin attracts floating thread essences in a small radius, it's like a magnet thing, I would love that. Um, we have allows users of the pattern weave class to fast stitch a larger pattern resembling a large blossom. That's the, um, the special attack. And then we also have a shattered heart fragment. We don't really need that. I kind of want to get this in the thread spindle. So we're going to buy this one here. Okay. Yay. And then, um, we can always come back to the shop. So we'll get the thread spindle as well. I love this. We're reducing our thread spindle, but we're going to have more apparently later. All right, so let's see who this is. Hey, do you know where I can find the seer? Right in front of your nose. Oh, wow, look at those eyebrows. Those are severely nice. But you're barely my age. I am, and I can see things that would last me another 20 lives. So don't waste my time. You must be here to learn about your kind. No, I'm here because of the dark... Wait, my kind? Have you never seen your face? You're not a moth, and obviously you're not much of a weaver either. I know that much, but nobody ever heard or said anything about my real family. Please tell me everything you know. I can see memories of a person of your kind running breathless through the mazes of the spun forest. I cannot tell how long, it ha long ago it has been or if she's still there to be found. You'll have to investigate this yourself and travel further into the depths of this world. How can I get there? You'll have to use the tidal vortex. It is sealed though. If you want to use it, you must seek the aid of an entity who goes by the name Twill. You should find her somewhere by the temple ruins to the east. Now go. And tell her to come pick up her trash from my tent. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, so there's something interesting going on there. Uh, so we're going to talk to our papa. And how did it go? We'll need to go to the desert ruins to find somebody named Twill. Apparently she can help us. Don't we have any other options? Hmm, why? Uh, I guess not. What's wrong with the plan? Never mind, I just like to have options. If I could find some sort of disguise, it might not be that bad. Uh-huh. Okay, so let's go out uh, of the town and go to the next area. Alright, so here we go. First of all, we have a fun quest to do. This is Bo the Shepherd. Dear me, I forgot to tie my woolies to the ground, and when I turned my back, they flew off dragging their leashes after them. I need to get them back to their pasture before dawn, but chasing them exhausted me. Could you perhaps pull them down for me and stitch them? I'll reward you for it. So this is kind of an important quest to do, and I really like the mechanics of this. It feels quite cool to like go over this and pull them back down. Now, the first time I did this quest, I didn't actually um, tie them up, uh, tie the, the little woolly rabbity thingies up um, like this. Uh, I just left them. and I'm like, ah, it's fine. And then I'm like, oh, geez, no quest completion. <laughs> so anyway, but this is the game kind of teaching us for later in the game. This is a task we're going to need to use later. Uh, and I think it's a really cool way of teaching. Uh, it's quite neat. Uh, and we'll see this come into uh, play later. Uh, just a tiny bit later. Okay, let's see. Let's go down this way. Alright, is that all of them? I think that's all. So let's go up back to Bo the Shepherd. Alright, hello. You found my herd. Thank you. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. So he's going to give us a treasure box, which is nice opens up and it's a ton of thread essence so that's great All right, we'll go back down over here go underneath this stuff and there's some naughty naughties over here as well and we now have a new enemy here which is very very naughty these have to be tied up multiple times okay let's go here break through the cacti and just tie up all of this extra um all the holes in here now, this is something that uh, at first I had a heck of a hard time with. So here we see the item, which is uh, is in a circular enclosure, but we do see there's a treasure box there. This is the puzzle actually I got me 
very frustrated initially because everything around here, I'm looking in the environment for clues about how do I connect these eye holes, the eyelets here, the holes. Um, and at first I was like, okay, everything's in a circle. There's the spinies in a circle. We have this circular enclosure. That area up there is in a circle. So surely it must be like a wheel shape with spokes in it because we have that center one. But it isn't. And I think uh, the developers here wanted to give us a hint with the spikies to make a spiky ball thing or star shape. Um, that is indeed the answer to this puzzle. Um, but I have to say that I didn't actually find that very, very useful at all. Um, because like I said, everything around here is round. So it was like, okay. All right, let's get detached there. Um, because you can connect these things in pretty much any way you want to. Just make sure to detach your thread or your ribbon when you go out. But I think the cacti are meant to be a hint to this. But again, I saw those as uh, enemies, danger, rather than... And they're, they're not in a spiky pattern. They're in a circular pattern. So anyway, um, but the rest of the game has much better clues. So I'm not sure if this is actually a clue or not. Maybe I missed something somewhere, but eventually I figured it out, which is kind of cool. So there we go. Let's get these guys going on. But the clues are quite ha cleverly hidden in, um, in much of the areas. It's kind of neat to, to kind of look around and see uh, because they're not always um, hinted to in the same way. Oh, there's the, the rest of those sheepy sheepy rabbity thing but jingies okay let's just wrap this guy up they are a tiny bit dangerous they shoot those uh projectiles at us okay there we go all right let's just weave this together we grab that heart there we go nice Oopsies. can we go under here yeah, we can actually. Did we miss anything good over here? Maybe. Let's go and check and see if there's any. It's kind of interesting because you, you can follow the upper pathways. Um, you know, the above ground where it seems the obvious way to go. But it seems like there's a lot of nice little areas where you can get additional uh, essence. Let's see if there's anything. Can we go this way? Yes, we can actually. So here we have um, another puzzle. Which is kind of cool. Actually, I didn't even find this one on my first playthrough. So we're just going to connect this. It looks like we're just connecting them. Like connect the dots. The outline of these guys. Because that's the hint we're given in the center of the room here. So I hope it works. Oopsies. Hello. There we go. But I love this. There's this kind of like weaving, sewing mechanic theme to it. It is so nice to like complete this. It's very, very cool. Feels cool. All right, what do we get in here? Hello, hooray. All right, we got another heart fragment. Wow, that's great. All right, so let's get out of here. Figured that one out. But it's well worth your time exploring these various areas. If you notice some area off to the side, sometimes it's not obvious how to get there. Sometimes it takes a little bit of um, finagling and stuff. And uh, there are also hints in the landscape for that. Like certain of those, uh, those funky succulents will connect uh, on one color, but they won't on another color. So it's kind of interesting. Like there's a box over there that's hidden, which we'll hopefully find a, a way to get to at some point. Let's see, is there a way up here? No, there's no way in from the bottom side here. So it's going to have to be in a different direction. All right. So this puzzle, I had to ask for help on this. I had to... To, to, to phone up uh, Crytivo and say, hello, help, because I was like, what the heck? And I couldn't find anything anywhere in the landscape to help me with this. Um, and they're like, you know, <laughs> did you look at the door? And I'm like, oh, no, this one has a door that's different from all the other doors that I've seen. So anyway, it does indicate the solution. So we're just going to go ahead and put that solution in. I'm going to start with that top square. Um, and then just take it from there. So it's nice. I like this that you can go kind of in and out of these eyelet holes 
and it doesn't matter if you go on the top side or the bottom side. There we go. And back in. And now we're in a new area. Yay! This is the temple ruins and we immediately we see some other funky stuff. We see some purple ribbon. That's new. We haven't seen purple before. Hey, you there. We're looking for somebody. You? You show your face here? Uh, confusion? Bah, leave me alone. What was that? It was the one we're looking for, Twill. You know her? We were friends a long time ago, though it looks like she hasn't forgotten her grudge against me. I'm sorry this might become a bit more difficult than you envisioned. If she was your friend, she must be a nice person after all. We should go after her. Wow, Taz given everybody the benefit of the doubt. That's really nice. Okay. Get some essence here. And immediately we have another puzzle. We have two doors. We have a cord. Since the cord is the most obvious thing, let's go and get the cord stitched down here. This is so cool doing this like zigzag stitch. It's 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 a lovely mechanical kind of uh, feeling to do this stuff. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna, like, we need to do something about this. Dangerous! Okay, open the box. Box, open, open. Alright, we found one piece of some sort of key. Collect four parts to complete it. Okay, let's go ahead and stitch up this hole, and then we're gonna go back into those doors. Okay, so... We have this, and we can open it with this, and then we have this one, which we can open with this. I like that. I like that mechanic. It's really cool. At first, I thought you needed to, like, connect them together, and that wasn't working. Then I'm like, oh, the doors are open. So here we, again, we see stuff happening here. I'm just going to go ahead and stitch these down and then, then open them up, since it takes a tiny bit to open them. Whoopsies. It's not quite down yet. Whoopsies. Oh, that one had a nice surprise in it. There we go. So this is game teaching us that not everything in a treasure box is nice. We have to uh, uh, sometimes <laughs> kill the, the things in the treasure box. So let's go this way. Oh, we have some kind of an item there, which is nice. Oh, no, that was a lot of thread essence. So let's get these and get this. And what did we get? Another shattered heart fragment. Excellent. Okay, so what's up here? We have another lovely little... Uh, rope. But the teaching moments in this game are really cool. I quite like them. They're awesome. Okay, so we got another key piece. This is great. Okay, and nothing further here. So we have completed this bottom door. Let's go to the next area. Let's go to the upper right here. Okay. Oh dear. So we have an enemy, which we haven't seen before. It's just a big one of these guys. Okay, and we have more enemy spam. Hooray! Okay. No! No, help, help, help. All right, gonna have to get some of these on the bottom side as well. Okay, we're knocking those off the bottom side, which is kind of cool. It's like they fall down onto the ground underneath or the uh, the air underneath <laughs> because it doesn't look like there's any ground. Okay, there we go. More thread essence. Oh, and we have stuff here. So again, another another way the game is teaching us. So we have these barriers. These are these kind of like rods here. Like wood, I'm just going to call them wooden rods, even though they're probably some kind of cord. But um, what we need to do is we have matching eyelets on the other side here. So we're going to need to just connect these. And it's kind of a mirror image of, uh, of where we need to go. So I found it useful to connect these guys, these triangular bits. Um, there, okay. And then figure out how those relate to these other bits. Okay, that one goes there. This one can go this away and that away. 
and disconnect. Okay, so now this one needs to go underneath these thread barriers. Now, do keep in mind that you have to kind of come up in each eyelet. You can't just like connect um, uh, many, many in a row. Like you couldn't just do one long thing all the way across. That uh, it wants you to kind of like connect point to point on these things. Okay, so let's see. This one goes uh, this way and that way. And oopsies, there we go. So I think that's correct. Let's just check. And again, it's a mirror image. Um, and then these guys. This is another triangle on the bottom. And that should give us completion. All right, it is. Okay, no treasure chest for us. Alas. Hey, this is my stuff you're messing with. I'm the only one who's allowed to wreck it. Sorry, Twill. We just came here to talk to you. Please don't run away again. Oh, what a curious creature. I like your feet. Thanks. I like your scarf. Ha! You do? Okay, there was something you wanted from me. We want to travel to the Spun Forest, and Mori told me that you can open the Tidal Vortex for us. She also mentioned something about trash in her tent. So will you help us, please? Hmm. I'll help you if you help me, but first I got a little challenge for you. Show me how much of a fast thinker you are. Solve this puzzle before I say stop. Ready? Go. Okay. So here we go. Luckily, we have some nice uh, directions here that are quite useful. We'll just go in and out and in and out. Just a running stitch. Yay. Oh, man, you really won this challenge. Well, then. So Twill seems to be a scarf. Uh, as opposed to Kilim, who's more of a rug. Hello? Hey, you promised you'd help us. Yeah, I will or I won't. We'll see. Here, take this thing behind the door. There's a big gate to the treasure chamber in the middle of this temple. Open it for me and we'll talk again. Okay, so we get to have presents. Yay. Okay, so we did get a key piece, which is nice. Collect four parts to complete it. All right. Is there anything else here? No, we're good. Now then, there's that box down there, which is kind of sneaky. So one thing that I've learned is you can fly. You cannot fly under this braid here. No way. You can't. It just doesn't happen. But you can go this way. I grab this chest over here, which is nice. All right, shattered heart fragment. Here we go. Um, and another thing that's kind of cool is you can pass all the way underground here and get back to this area, which we've seen earlier. I remember this is where we had the stitch down big box. And this is where we need the key. We've dropped our key pieces there. See if we can find the rest of these uh, things here. All right, got that guy. All right, so we have a door here that's marked with a horizontal symbol. We have one that's marked with an arrow symbol and another horizontal symbol. So it looks like you can a lot of these doors seem to be unidirectional. Okay, let's go here. Um, and there is a something on a cord in there. So it's, let's go up into this. But notice we cannot come back. It's one direction there. And I'm going to I think I need to kill this guy, if anything, because he's really annoying. Okay, let's open this. Yay, we got something. What do we get? Royal Red Ribbon. Can be used in playgrounds mode. That's a very nice. So can't get through that bottom one as we've seen. So let's go through here. And we just need to make another iteration here through this area. Aha, we have another eyelet puzzle. Now this is quite cleverly done here. This is again, a teaching moment from the game. Uh, I really like the way the the developers are teaching us to play this. Now notice there's just a little, a little knot at the end here. But we also have a pattern that is being formed by these uh, ropes. Okay, this is funky. Hello. All right, so we have a vertical stick and three diagonal sticks. And that kind of corresponds with what we see here. So let's just go ahead and get these guys going. Okay, let's detach there and go up here. And then we'll make another diagonal line there. And boom, we have it. Okay, let's go up in here in the door. 
Okay, what do we got here then? Ooh, we got some animals. Jeez. Uh, it's kind of hard that you have to like kill these or bring them down before you can actually kill them. So, but sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. But if we get hit too much, there's always the bushes which tend to hold quite a lot of, um, of hearts. There we go. There we go. Yep. And we'll move onward. All right, and we have some animals here. And we're out again. Wait, what did we get from here? No, did we miss something? Let's just make sure that I didn't miss something. I feel a tiny bit like, oh no. Let me go back down this way and see. So apparently I missed the giant treasure box in the middle of this room. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there it is. All right, and we grabbed our last key piece. So let's go again through there. We've got the whole thing now. Woohoo! All right. All right, let's go. This is great. So we'll just drop it off by this thing, imaging All right. We'll pull it again like the other thingy. There we go. Go through to the next area. Okay, tiny bit dangerous in here. Tiny bit. Temple chamber. Hey, what's this? Wow, this is old. Did you see that inscription? Looks like a hex of some sort. Ha, huh, who even believes in such nonsense? And in here? Uh-oh. Yeah, the uh-oh is right. I love the graphics. This looks so good. It's got like this Egyptian kind of look to it. Whoa, look at that. Stay away. This could be dangerous. You don't tell me what to do. Whoa, whoa. Uh-huh. Tiny bit dangerous. Purple smoke always indicates danger. <laughs> yeah, we got those mummy-like bandages going on and a funky tail. Now this boss is a tiny bit difficult. Um... Now this thing, I have no idea what to do with this thing, but uh, we are, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. We see the end of the tail. It is hopefully, yep, gonna get left behind, but this boss has some major attacks that are not, uh, there's no warning for it that I've seen. Ah, no! Okay. Okay, we can do this, we can do this, wrap it up. The music is a tiny bit, um, <laughs> no, oh no, help. Oh, uh, no, please, 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 I need that heart, give it back. Okay, okay, okay. That is the worst attack, is the, uh, maybe there's a whoosh sound beforehand? Yeah, there's the whoosh. Okay, and we see a tiny bit of the, uh, Okay, let's get the end, the end. Oh, we got it. We got it, I think. Oh, it almost look, it looks like a wasp from this angle here. Whew. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. We didn't die. Ha, huh, we defeated the old geezer. Thanks and come back never. You are such a bonehead, Twill. Taz could have gotten hurt because of you. Sure I am. That must also be the reason why I still don't get it through my thick skull why you ran away that day, right? Don't make this about you. Hey, it's it's fine. I didn't get hurt, so please stop being angry. Are you alright? I didn't exactly ask you to save me, but I feel like I owe you no one now. I'll help. I'm not doing this for his sake, though. I'll do it for you, Tass. I want to pack some of my stuff, so meet me at the Tidal Vortex south from Larea, okay? Once we go down there, we won't be able to return, so finish whatever business you have around here. See you later. Got it. Thanks, Twill, and welcome to the team. So I imagine that means we probably need to um, to go back to the uh, the store and buy anything that we didn't buy. Uh, I don't know if we need stuff. Let's see if we grab this handle. What that's going to do for us. Woohoo! A rain of lovely thread fragments. Oh, this is great. Look at this. Okay. I like this. It's kind of like a prize piñata. <laughs> I 
instead of like its standard treasure box. This is good. <laughs> so making sure that we have enough stuff to buy anything in the shop we want. And here we have another treasure box. All right. Pulsing red ribbon up here. Then we got a pulsing orange ribbon. Very nice. And a pulsing blue ribbon. So let's grab this. A full heart container. That is also very nice. I love like these swirling, spiraling thing imaging things. So down the tidal vortex it is. Our path might lead us even further away from our home. Aren't you a bit scared? No, I'm just excited to see what comes next. Congrats! You made it through the demo of Weaving Tides. Make sure to check out the Playgrounds mode where you can get creative and stitch to your heart's content. And stay up to date with Weaving Tides development by joining our Discord server. Uh, and also check out the Kickstarter. Remember to check out the Kickstarter. The link is in the description below. And um, yeah, it, the, uh, it features limited rewards, contests, and giveaways before and during the campaign. So keep your eyes peeled. All right, so now... I'm going to show you the second mode, which is quite cool here. We have the Playgrounds mode, which definitely will appeal to... Oh, no, no, go... Okay, we're going to go to save two... Yes. Um, because this is kind of kind of different. Uh, this is very cool. So we can go into our, um, our area here, our inventory. Go. Oh. And we have new ribbons. We've got all kinds of stuff here. So I'm going to start off with this one. And, oopsies. Please, there we go. And then just start uh, weaving a tiny thing real quick. There we go. We'll do a tiny bit of cruel work here. Just a bit to give you the idea. All right, and then we'll go up here and we're going to change our ribbon. I want to use one of the new ones, which let's use like the pulsing orange. How about that? Okay, and get out of here. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow, that's pretty. That's really orange. That's really orange. All right, we're gonna detach this and then go into the inventory and pick out, say, let's just get a regular blue for now. Okay, and out. And then we can make this thing. I hope you can guess what it might be already. I'm just gonna do some, just simple little thing imaging these here. But with practice, you can get some really interesting designs. I really like this mode. I think it's like a really cool addition to the game. I just want to make this just to show you what you can do and then show you how you can make a cheat sheet as well. So here we go. We have obviously here a flower. Um, let's see if we can go. Is it T? No, V. There we go. So you can make all kinds of designs. As we've seen, we have many different ribbons here. Now we also have a way, oopsies, let's get out of this, a way to um, add a special picture. And um, the, the thingy does show us how to do this. How do we do this again? Yes, there we go. If we look at the uh, all controls overview, no, it's the image template. You can get an image template. So you can import a picture into that Steam folder. The easiest way to get there is just right click on the game in the Steam library and um, go into the, the files. And the file is actually called reference.png. And that's the one that is, is there. And just to show you that it is definitely possible, we have, um, we have to get out of this menu first. And I'll show you, I imported the KOS logo in here. <laughs> and you can have varying degrees of uh, showing this thing. So if we go and get a, I don't know what color, let's see. Let's go with, um, oopsies, come on back, come on back. No, no, I keep pressing the wrong button because I've been switching between uh, the Nintendo Switch uh, and playing this game and the accept um, and the other buttons, the accept button and the, uh, what is the other button called? Oh, just decline are basically opposite buttons. 
in the two systems. So that's not ideal. So we're just going to stitch quickly this section of the S just so you can see how this works. And if you want to be more accurate, of course, you can go and be top down, which gives you a lot more accuracy. As you can see, it's almost very grid like here. But you can import any picture you want. I'm not quite sure how to get it to be like this is a really small picture. Um, but I'm wondering if you almost have to be uh, having it on the bias because I did put it in straight. So I have no idea how that's supposed to work. But we can get back to our regular view here and take off this and you can see here we have our S there. So anyway, um, I just want to thank you so very much for joining me. Again, if you're interested in the Kickstarter, the link is in the description below. Uh, this is such an innovative and funky, fun game. I hope you enjoyed um, this playthrough and um, I hope you'll, you'll check it out if you're interested. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.